Oh my god. Well, we have so much going on. I just got here. When did you get here? What's up? Celebrity guest. She's in the house. We're all getting wasted after this video. I think. <laughs> that was a cops. <laughs> get the f out of here. Back in California, dude. It's been a long time. A month of DD in California. Finally back at Avenue of the Arts, our home away from home, you guys. You know when you see that beautiful American flag flapping in the wind, it is warm. The sun just came out. Gumball is finally over. I finally have recovered from my gumball withdrawals. Cause you're not used to go home. I'm like in the G-Wagon. My wife's like, you need to slow down. I'm like, no, the cops are after us. Navigate woman, navigate woman. Celsius, let's go. No, it's good to be back in California. It's good to come back to some car we have not driven in quite a minute. Diablo from 1982. Yeah, here's a question, will these cars start? Oh, they might They're not. They're chargers. Both the V12s, them. they might not start. Dave's Murcielago, the LP640. The big update in this video is going to be actually going back to the DDHQ, which we haven't been to in weeks. And we've had a lot of updates and improvements. So as you know, we did the floors, we did the painting, the painting's all finished. We have the biggest improvement of all, on top of all those, is lighting. So we have brand new lighting that came in and Ben Pack is going to be in the course of the next couple of days putting in some new lifts. Spent a lot of money. Plus, there's also going to be a celebrity guest in this video today, so stay tuned for that. Who's coming? So I'm going to stay in the hotel right now. If I no, nope. I don't think I told you this yet. Yeah, I mean, you told me this. Uh, and then we also have two cars that may or may not start. Come on, Diablo. Oh, this is a good sign. Come on. Oh. Fixing that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go get gas in a Celsius. Oh yes, we need Celsius. So I gotta find some Celsius. Damn. Right here. Oh, my favorite. Watermelon. Oh yeah. Watermelon. <laughs> right in there. Wait a minute, right? Oh, cheers. If you guys don't know, we don't have these in Canada because in Canada they're illegal. <laughs> Good they are. It's actually true. They're legal. Dude, gas got real expensive over gone by. Oh, that's good. Holy shit. It's about seven dollars a gallon. One hundred and forty-two dollars. Dude, was it completely empty? No. No. Well, the light just came on. Here's the thing. When we used to come down here three years ago, gas was like two dollars and fifty cents a gallon. So it's almost tripled in cost. Six dollars and eighty-nine cents. That's it's getting real. <laughs> are we gonna take these guys and show them the new HQ upgrades or what? But first, there's been some. F while we were gone. Somebody took a syrupy beverage and spilt it on the Murcielago. Holy it's shit. It's a little gel splatter. Holy but shit. I don't want to touch it. But it's what? quite syrupy. What the hell? I think there was some about. I'm going to find you. You want to race? Ha ha, traffic. Holy, wait till you guys hear. He's going to come by me any minute now. PFS, but we're not going to show you guys. I did a little something. I did a little something. A car in the fleet, a very important car in the fleet, got a complete makeover. We're talking full color change, new wheels, new accents. I went all out on this one. Can't wait to show you, but I can't show you yet. I'm going to go have a quick peek though. Progress is almost complete. You think you can take me off the line? Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Not the fastest car, but the fact that it's rear wheel drive with a clutch Maybe. makes it one of the funnest cars. You see that? Yeah. That's a legit 11. And <laughs> yeah. because Diablos and all these V12 Lamborghinis when they're manual, even when they're not manual, they have such tall gears. First gear has so much runway that you can just smash on it and it'll leave like the ma best 11s. That's why we're the 11 crew. Those will be there for a little while. PFS, can't show you what we're gonna see in here, but stay tuned because the next we video- have 
on a little bit. Give me, give me a, that's something, but nothing, but something. But something to get me excited for the next video. Okay. Hold on one sec, Damon, hold on one sec. One sec, one sec. What are you doing? One sec, one sec. Hey! One sec. Okay, let's go, let's go. That's the new candy ball. So mean. <laughs> No social media of this car. I can't show you much, but that's it. That's all you get. I'm excited to show you guys this. You guys brought some new wheels for the car, AL13 to the rescue. They look so sick. Again, I can't really tease anything because it really gives it away. They give away the design, the color of the wheels, the color of the car. You're just gonna have to wait. Stay tuned. Shout out to these boys for getting it done. I call Darwin and I'm like, I have an idea. He goes, Sh <laughs> I go, as soon as I pressure Jason at PFS into doing this wrap when they're booked out for three months to do it in the next week, I'm gonna ask you to make wheels in the next week. And he's like, I really hope Jason tells you no, so I don't have to. I wish I would send that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys killed it. You banged it out while also attending a rally yourselves. Mm -hmm. You had fun. C8 performed yeah, well. Yeah, it was a great car. But you know what? We gotta go. I have a haircut in 10 minutes. Let's go. Love you guys. We have we have to Let's go. go. We gotta go. We have a haircut. We gotta go, and guys. And we also have Renos. You guys gotta come check out our shop. We renoed Let's the whole go. shop. Let's for go. sure. Dude, Let's go. come, Let's please. Go. Let's go. Take me. Where yeah. do you go? <laughs>
All right, guys, quick introduction to today's sponsor, ShipStation. Now, back in the day, Damon and I and his wife, I'm not joking, had a small garage in Victoria, Canada, where we would manually pack all these hats and manually, literally drive to the post office and negotiate a rate for each individual item. Thanks to ShipStation, now we can do what we love, driving cars and yelling at cameras. Let ShipStation handle all your shipping and handling and get back to what you're good at, growing your business. It works with all your storefronts, which includes Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more, and it lets you automate all the manual work that goes into shipping. You'll also get deep discounted shipping rates normally reserved for Fortune 500 companies. You can also easily compare carriers, rates, and delivery times, so it's easy to choose the best option for every shipping scenario. In fact, 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. True story. Eric, who yeah. do you use to ship your steering wheels? Oh, I use ShipStation. You use ShipStation. Before yeah. that, what'd you do? Man, I'm doing manually. How awful was it? It took me like a few hours to fulfill all the orders by going into UPS, typing all the address, and then ShipStation come in handy. Like, it links to my website. All the orders, I can search it on the platform. It looks great. Eric legit yeah. uses ShipStation. I so do we, you guys. Yeah. So if you're an online business right now, click link in the description. Sign up for a free six-day trial at ShipStation.com slash DDE and start saving time on every shipment. That's two whole months of shipping made quick and painless. And it's free to try. Just go to ShipStation.com slash DDE. Well, you got the right wheels. I love the carbon wheels. Like, there's no point in changing the wheels on this car. These are, these are sick. You yeah. went through two, didn't you? Explain, I did two. Explain what happened. GT500 heavy car, wheels have had some good runnings, hit some potholes, wearing out over time, eventually cracking. That's what happened to me, and there were none in stock anywhere in North America. The dealership let you steal them off of a, a car. A, a new car off the showroom floor. That's insane. They put it on stands and let me advertise. Young Steel's Ford and Lincoln in Toronto. Legends, just before Gumball. Legends. Like, literally two or three days before we did Gumball. I was and, like, I don't know what to and do. And they gave you the broken ones, you shoved them in the back. I've got the real, I'm taking the Broken ones home. They're gonna make a nice coffee table. You drove all of Gumball with them in the back? Yes. How much were the broken wheels? wheels. How much were they? Retail price, US dollars? Yes. 7,500 each. Oh my. That's, that's a, a lot of that's a spicy meatball. Yeah, I'm pretty used to spending that's a car. money on. That's a few Ray Shadow Legends car. links, but that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of Dave playing Ray Shadow Legends. <laughs> Let's do a quick montage on the GT because it's here, and it really reveals how much different the HQ is now compared to those yellow and black and a little bit of red tiles. Who's the spokesperson from this company? Who wants to be on that's camera right, right now? So Who wants to talk? This man right here. Who's, Who's gonna, gonna talk about? Tell me, what did you do to our garage, sir? <laughs> so we uh, suspended three of our hex lighting kits. So basically, everything was laser line level. And this is your result. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your company name? BX Built. So the kit, the, well, the discount is 20% off. Code's DDD. So hold on. These guys can go right now and for their home or their garage, they can get this cool hex lighting with, for a 20% off discount? Absolutely. I had no idea. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Who's motorcycle? Is? I don't know. <laughs> no one does. Nobody knows where that came from. We, leave, we leave for three weeks and we come back and there's no all sorts knows. of random stuff in here that was never here before. Montage with this beautiful lighting for GT. Is there anything better than this for the money? This is about a million dollars. It's a lot of money for a V6. Car sick. Shop's looking amazing. The guys repainted, as you can see. This is all now no more red. Everything's got like that nice gray tone. The floors look amazing. The next low big addition is gonna be all new lifts. Ben Pack watched our video. They actually watched the video. We're like, those gotta go. So we're gonna bring in all new lifts and we're expanding the lift options. So they won't be doubles. There's a hint for you guys. They're gonna be crazy. Holy crap. There's a car cover. GT. All right, we're gonna take this out real quick. We'll be right back. We won't be long. We're just gonna go around the block and back. We're quite tight in here. First thing I noticed is our, we're, uh, well, we're close we're this shoulder way, to but, shoulder. Uh, dude, tell me how comfortable these chairs are. These seats are. Chairs. <laughs> these chairs are very comfortable. <laughs> this couch is very comfortable. Dude, uh, the throttle response on this is insane. I'm barely touching it, and this thing's just like wanting to go. When you're in here, it's got like, this is probably the only car that's not a Koenigsegg that has like Koenigsegg vibes because of the angle of the windshield and everything. So we're gonna start things off in sport mode, and then we'll put it into um, race mode when we're on the Pacific Coast Highway because the pavement there is perfect and smooth, and I don't have to worry about it being too low, but I do want to experience that and see what it feels like. Very smooth. Air brake, air brake, air brake, air brake. The fit and finish on the inside. 
size definitely feels forward. No offense to forward, but it's, it's not what you expect for a million dollar car, I'm just gonna be honest with you. The car looks crazy, the dash is crazy, the outside is crazy. It would have been really cool if Ford approved this finally for MSRP. For MSRP, it's a super sick car. Track mode not available. The other one must be on park. Oh, you have to put it in park. It's up. So it parks over here in the rotisserie. You're now in park. Track mode. Oh wow, we Holy just, we just dumped. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready, race mode. The shifts are like click, 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 bang, bang, bang. Super precise. Click, click, click bang, bang, bang. It doesn't pull, like it's very linear. It doesn't pull hard and over no, and over. It's just about it to keeps say that. going. It's very balanced that way. It doesn't feel that fast. Well, I don't want to say in a negative way, but it doesn't in between shifts. Like when you're on it, it just kind of stays the same pull. I don't feel our, I don't, I don't feel horsepower torque increasing the faster the car went. Yeah. You feel that? Yeah. It's not that. How much, how much horsepower does it have? It's EcoBoost. I think it's like 700 horsepower. Yeah. I don't know if it's a million dollar car or not. A million dollars. How much money a million dollars is? It's half a CGT. <laughs> it is. It is tight in here. Like look at our shoulders right now compared to like an SVJ, a Murcielago, even a Huracan. Like it's not many cars that we've been. Captain, dear. We're over touching. Did we do that? Smash on both sides. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> what the? <f> <laughs> that it's really not that fast, but oh, it picks up in the upper gears. Oh sh! That was a cops. <laughs> Get the f out of here! This has been the most chaotic day of my life. Is that Justin Bieber? Holy sh! <laughs> I look like him. Guy in the AMG wants some. Should we race him? Yeah, let's race him. Hell yeah! <laughs> There's literally a dentist here in town that offered me a free teeth cleaning. I need a Hollywood smile. <laughs> It looks so good. There's so many things going on right now. By the way, you guys, that's legit. Big discount, link in the description. Get these lights for your garage at home. I'm doing that in my garage, he'll probably do the same. Go to the back, stop talking about the lights, let's get a rev. <laughs> He's cautious by nature. What, you want you want to tour the DDHQ? Yeah. This is the main garage. Some someone's Harley. You guys figure out who's car or bike? No, we're still we're still looking. Know. Still looking. This is where we will be stripping cars down and building cars. So this has now got all the new lighting in it. We moved the red tool chests that were uh, against this wall. They're now all in here, and these will become bays. So there will be essentially four bays: one, two, three, four. In between all the posts are 550. This is what the last time the audience saw this. We had couches in here. This was like a just chill media room. This is all changing. It'll still be a little area where I can work out or whoever. I would just do a gym in here. A so race let's get, car driver. Let's get jacked. It'd be you cool. wanna get jacked with us, Tim? Because I'm shredding. Do you work out? I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> Engine building room. This is gonna get torn up and changed out, but this is like a clean room to basically assemble transmissions and engines. So this is where like, this is the official front desk. We now have a television up. We're actually looping all of our videos. So we tried to keep it clean and streamlined and nothing too crazy. Oh, by the way, we have a gift from Alejandro. Alejandro Salamandrini, our friend Alejandro. <laughs> says a case, Salman. He has a new- uh, Oh, his mezcal. Mezcal is from- Dude, thank you so much for sending Thanks, this. There's six bottles of this, so. Yes. Hello, yes. Tim. Thank you, Alejandro. <laughs> Party time. We're all getting wasted after this video. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have an editing room. So if Shmi needs to edit a video while he's here, he can do it in this room. The editing room. <laughs> Get down, let's go! <laughs> this is the crown jewel. The fact that this is like, this is what makes this like Fast and the Furious clubhouse vibes. We have a full freaking stainless kitchen and a dining room table. This is the coolest part. Yeah, this is nice. The time has come where we need to say goodbye to one celebrity in this room and it's not Shmi. It's the uh, Ford GT. I'll take it, 600. You gotta hear this story. 
So we, we were just talking about leaving 11s with the GT out of here, and a really interesting thing about the assembly hall where those are made in Canada, they're made outside of Toronto and Markham. Um, it's quite a small facility because it's a race team, and the way that they're testing them with the hydraulics of the wing, and the wings are up, the only way to get the wing down is to do a standing wheel spin. So every single car has to hit 18 miles an hour on the factory floor in the standing position in order to get the wing back down before they leave. So every car does a burnout in the factory, and he said the factory is really not much bigger than our shop. You built in Canada those cars? Yeah. You know so much really unique, quirky stuff about <laughs> manufacturers and, and because you have the respect from your collared shirt to get invited to it. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah. It's about it. looking smart. It is. It is about looking smart. Like, it's the British politeness and, you know, diplomacy. This is our new headquarters. It's looking amazing. We're going to have new lifts. We have some more lighting going in the back, some new cars that we'll need to be putting on these lifts. So stick around. Watch another video. Maybe the one after this. Actually, because we're revealing the whole remake of the $2 million car of ours. So... New color, new wheels. Watch the next video. Thank you to these gentlemen for again, all the beautiful lights to glow this beautiful male model face.